Okay, moving on to lesson seven of HTML basics. More about headings. HTML actually lets us have more than one heading size. There are six heading sizes, where H1 is the boss and H6 is puny. So we look at this H1 tag is the CEO, H2 is the VP, H3 is the director, H4 is middle management, H5 is lowly assistant, and H6 gets coffee for everyone. Below will ask you to add headings of your various of various sizes. Feel free to write whatever you like for your headings. Instructions: Your code currently has one H1 heading and two paragraphs. Add an H3 heading before the second paragraph. Okay, so that's step number two. So here's the first paragraph, and here's the second paragraph. So I'll add H3. Hello, this is H3. Then we'll put a closing H3 tag. Then it says add a step three. Add an H5 heading after the second paragraph, and then add a third paragraph after this heading. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add H5. This is H5. Closing H5 tag. And then another paragraph tag. I hope you are having fun. And there's my closing paragraph tag. Now I'll save and submit. And it worked. And here you can see the different sizes of my headings. Okay, number eight of 14 using every heading. Nice work. Given that there are six heading sizes altogether, we should make use of all six. Instructions add three more headings to the code. Make use of H2, H4, and H6. Make sure to close your tags. Under each heading add a short paragraph. Don't forget paragraphs need openings and closing P tags. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy this H1, hopefully I can copy and paste here, and I'll change this to H2, and then I'll say hello, welcome to my page 2, change the closing tag to page 2, or H2, and I've got my H3 already there, so I need to add H4, so we'll go ahead and copy H3, and paste that below, so now I've got to change the H3 to H4, H3 to H4, and then my last one underneath H5, I'm going to put H6, so I'll highlight this, copy it and paste it, H6, this is H6, H6, okay. And if I look over here, I can see the different sizes of the headings. See, H6 is very small. Then I'll go ahead and save and submit. All right. Now we're going to add some images to our pages. Now, number seven. Well, here's a mid-lesson breather. You've done an awesome job. Here's a quick summary of the things that we've learned. One, HTML is used to give websites structure. Two, we open HTML files using a browser, and the browser renders shows us the file. Number three, HTML files have a, th uh, have a head and a body, just like you do. And number four, in the head we have a title tags, and we use these to specify the page's name. And number five, how to make headings and paragraphs. Okay, instructions. Add a title between the title tags. Number one, okay, so I've got uh, titles that says heading and paragraphs, and um, I don't see what's wrong with these title tags, but I guess I'll change it. Sean's web page. Okay, number two, create a A3 sized heading in the body. Make sure your heading uh, heading say something or anything you want. Make your heading say anything you want. Just don't forget to close it. Okay, so I've got my heading three here. I suppose that I could just copy it and paste it. Copy. I'll put it down here on the bottom. Hello, this is another H3. It's already closed. 
and number three, create three paragraphs using P tags and fill them with content, for example, about cars, your pet, your favorite city to travel, whatever you like. All right, well, I can just copy one of these P tags here. One, two, three. In the first one, it says uh, about cars, I like Elio Motors. About my pets, I like labs. About my favorite city to travel, I love San Diego. Okay, I'll submit. Yay! Now on to the next one. Okay, lesson 10 of 14. You're going places. What if you wanted to send the user to another part of your website? Or another website altogether? You use hyperlinks, or links for short. So here we see an anchor tag, href equals http, codeacademy.com, my favorite site, and then the end of the anchor tag. First, there's an opening A tag. And that tag has an attribute called href, or hyper link reference. The href value tells your link where you want it to go. In this case, http www.codeacademy.com. When you have a description of your link between your opening A tag and your closing A tags, this is what you will be able to click on. Three, finally you have your closing A tag. Instructions. On the body section, create a link. To do this, create an A tag Point your link to a website by setting the href value attribute. So that's number one. In the body section, create a link. So I'm going to the body. I'm going to create an A tag. There we go. So that's an A tag. But I want to put an href in here. href equals, then within quotation marks, we're going to go to http, full colon, forward slash, forward slash, www.code academy.com. Step number two, add a description of your link. Okay, so after this we're going to say code academy, but it's not really that at all. It's code academy. <clears throat> number three, close the element with a closing a tag. So I'm going to do an angle bracket, forward slash a, closing angle bracket. All right, and that's all the steps. I'll go ahead and submit notice that it gives me code cabinet. Okay, so I've done 10 exercises, I get a badge, yay. Now we can go on to the next lesson. Lesson number 11, adding images. You can add images to your websites to make them look fancy. We use an image tag like this, IMG. This tag is a bit different from the others. Instead of putting the content between the tags, you tell the tag where to get the picture using SRC, or the source. It's also different because there's no ending tag. It has a forward slash at the, at the tag to close it. And so here we have uh, ang angle bracket, IMG space source equals URL. Uh, and then another forward slash angle bracket. Check out the tags to the right. It adds a picture of a rubber duck to the page. You can see it by clicking on the preview button. So do we have a preview button? I don't see a preview button, but I see a full screen. <clears throat> see the web address or URL after the SRC? And it says it's https s3.amazonws.com, Code Academy, Assets, F3A16FB6.jpg. That tells the image tag where to get the picture from. Every image on the web has its own image URL. Simply right click on an image and choose Copy Image URL, paste the URL in quotes after the source to insert your image tag. Okay, so instructions. Add a second image below the first one. Make sure it's before the closing body tag. If you can't think of a good picture, use the ninja. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor within the body tag. I'm going to go ahead and type IMG, that's for image, SRC equals, and I'll put two quotation marks, and then I'll do a forward slash and an angle bracket. So I've got to get a URL to put in that source. To do this, I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to type in images.google.com, and I'll do something fun like cute kittens. Oh, 
all right, these are cute. I'm going to go ahead and, okay, so I'm going to click on one of these images. Here's a nice little cute image. I'm going to then say, click over here, view image. Now that I'm viewing the image, I can see the URL right here. So I could right click it, copy image URL, or I could just highlight it and copy it. Then I'll go back to Code Academy, and I will put paste that right in between my uh, quotation marks in my source. So I'll paste that, and here is my little image right there in our browser. I'll go ahead and save and submit. Okay, start next lesson. Number 12. Click that image. Good work. Now you know how to add links and images to your websites. Why not make the image link? Why not make an image link, for example? So here we see an anchor tag, an image, and the end of the anchor tag. First, we open our eight anchor tags, or eight tags, and point the href to codeacademy.com. Two, but this time, instead of using text inside the a tag, we'll use an image tag. Three, finally we have our closing anchor tag. Now, when you click on the yellow duck, you'll be taken to www.codeacademy.com. Placing one HTML tag inside of another is called nesting. Instructions. On the body section, create an A tag. Okay, so I'm going to go up here, and I'll create an A tag. Step number two, choose a website to point your link to. I might as well go to Code Academy. And so I'll go to SR, I'm sorry, href equals, and two quotation marks, uh, HTTP, full colon, forward slash, forward slash, code, academy.com. Uh, three, now create an image tag between your opening tags. Okay, so I will come and uh, put an image tag here. Image src equals. So there's my image tag. I gotta remember to end it with a forward slash. And I've got to put some kind of stuff here. I'm gonna just use copy and paste the same kitty picture I was using earlier. And then step four, finally close your anchor tag after your image. Okay, so I'll go down to the next line and I'll do my closing anchor tag. So here we've got an opening anchor tag, an image, and a closing anchor tag. And I'll save and submit. Alright, worked. Let's go on to lesson number 13. Number th 13, images and links. Good work. Let's make sure you really understand images and links before we move on to the review. Between the body tags, our instructions between the body tags, number one, add two images using the image tag. One should be a link, the other should not. The link can go anywhere you want. Okay, so we're going to add two images, one's a link. So I'll start with a link. A, href equals, and I'm just going to go to uh, something easy to write which would be http full colon forward slash forward slash cnn.com that's easy to write and then we're going to put an image in that tag so img source or src equals and then within quotation marks we want to get some kind of image I'm going to go back to my tab where I've got the images going, backspace a little bit. Instead of doing cute kitties, I'm going to do CNN <clears throat> and um, get some kind of logo here. Uh, here's a logo. I can go ahead and click view image. I can right click it and copy image URL. Then I'll go back to my Code Academy within the SRC tags quotation marks. Go ahead and paste that. Okay, so there's my image. Now I want to close that with an anchor tag. Okay, so that is my first image. And now I'm going to put a second image, this one without a link. So it's just going to say image src equals. And by the way, they do the images a little bit different than I usually do them. They put a forward slash for the angle bracket, I guess I should do it their way. Angle, a forward slash angle bracket. So I just need another image, and where's my cute kitties when I need them? <clears throat> Here's another cute kitty. Let's 
I'll choose one that's smaller. That's a cute one. And it's short too, so I'll copy that and paste it within my source text. Okay, so after your two images create a link that is just a line of text, it can link anywhere you want. Okay, so I'm just going to put in a line of text, go anywhere I want, href equals, and so I'm going to make this one go to the college that I work at, that's Butte College, HTTP, full colon, forward slash, forward slash, butte.edu, and then in here I'm going to write Butte College, and then I'll have my closing angle tag, closing um, anchor tag. Now I'll go ahead and submit, cross my fingers, yay, it worked, one last lesson. 14 of 14. Well done, you now know the basics of creating a web page. If you're feeling lucky, go ahead and tackle the build your own web page. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and end this video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, look for that build your own web page video I'm doing right next.